All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and some Dragon Ball Z Kakarot information and news with the brand new V-Jump scans that actually just went live officially for us. Uh, big, massive shout outs to the homie at DBS Hype. I want you to go give at DBS Hype a follow and also at DBS Hype 1 a follow. Uh, this is his main account and this is his secondary account. So this one is usually where he's posting leaks for a lot of stuff just in case of um you know getting his account deleted because you know sometimes copyright and things uh especially with getting things out with uh v jump early because apparently that's like a an offense in <laughs> in japan if you leak that stuff early which is pretty crazy but yeah definitely hit him up with the follow he takes that risk for us uh every single month and he is amazing for getting uh these high quality scans so let's go ahead and jump into the very uh first thing uh, like I said, it's going to be Xenoverse 2 Legendary Pack 2 slash DLC Pack 13 uh, information and stuff. There really isn't a lot new from what we already got in uh, the Dragon Ball official website. We pretty much got the gist of everything that this Gogeta is going to have other than, you know, what his actual uh, combos and moves is going to be whenever the gameplay does release. But let's go ahead and check out one of the uh, new screenshots that it actually shows here. And I'll have, obviously, my bootleg ass translations we'll do at the very end, but I just want you... Want you guys to see the initial look. So, uh, model wise and everything, uh, a lot higher quality than what we got in uh, the official website. He looks great. I think we all can agree that this is a really cool Kojita uh, with his moves and everything. I don't like how uh, they kind of like made a diagonal, like weird flat resolution for this. I don't know what's going on there. But uh, the new screenshot that uh, I'm talking about is this right here, which I believe. It looks like Punisher Drive. I think it actually is. And it might, or it could actually be like an updated version of it. I don't know. We'll have to see the translations and everything whenever I get to it. But uh, we already know he's going to have Super Saiyan as an Awoken. Uh, to me, it's going to be the same animation as all the other normal, you know, Super Saiyan transformations, which I don't know why people were expecting it to be different. I mean, as cool as that would be, and I would love that, y'all uh, y'all got your expectations high for Dimps, bro. <laughs> like, where did that come from? Like, I see people bitching about them and saying, like, oh, yeah, Dimps sucks, and they, 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 they're going to be lazy about it. Yeah, they're going to be lazy about No, no, they're not lazy. It's just that's how it was with DLC Pack 1 with Kaba, or Kaba, however you want to pronounce it. His transformation was the same. It's just the normal, basic Super Saiyan animation that the Cacs have, that Goku has, that Vegeta has, that Gohan has, that Trunks has. Actually, Trunks has future Super Saiyan, and so does future Gohan. But, I mean, that's because they're future. <laughs> future! So, yes, um, that's pretty much the only thing that's different here are these two screenshots where, you know, you have Gogeta powering up and transforming so that we get a different look at what the animation most likely is which, like i said normal super saiyan and then we have this <clears throat> punisher drive which again i don't i don't exactly it looks a little bit different but you can definitely tell it's punisher drive you see the sparkles you see the swift uh lines and movements going on and then you see i don't know maybe it's like a backflip type of thing i don't know i really don't know <laughs> what we'll to see whenever we actually get it so um we already know raid bosses uh there are gonna be three new raid bosses we know jiren and gogeta uh obviously the new characters we're gonna have a villainous mode jiren a normal gogeta i bet the jiren's gonna be a bitch to fight he's gonna be super difficult to fight but gogeta is probably gonna be fine and then we also have few who actually doesn't have uh a screenshot here but he was confirmed in uh the dragon ball official site we know that female male cacs will get Bergamo's costume, which is really, really sick. For all you furry motherfuckers out there, this is for you. Enjoy. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, so other than that, nothing nothing too special or new about it. I'll definitely keep an eye out uh, for the official screenshots, the HD screenshots, and I'll upload those. Uh, whenever those go live, which actually might be today or even uh, tomorrow. They usually come through pretty pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, he looks awesome. Meteor Explosion confirmed. Uh, the Comet Strike confirmed. And maybe, maybe an update to Punisher Drive. But, it's, I mean, they're just showing. It's just weird that they would show Punisher Drive just like the the normal skill. But I don't think they're confirming that's an update. But we'll, we'll see. We'll definitely see. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. And we'll get into the translations afterwards. I just want to show you guys, um, 
Actually, you know what? Let's just get into it now. <laughs> so, bootleg ass translations. So, I don't know why it says vinegar. Uh, I'm Gotti with Goku was united. Yeah, these are just really weird. Legendary Gogeta reappears. I like how they say that. Reappears. They, they're not even trying to hide it. Uh, the strongest warrior in history. Strongest fusion warrior. Uh, second legendary pack. A movie like battle. Reproduce it with your hands. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Uh, meteor explosion. Explosion. Are you kidding me? That is racist, bro. You can't be doing that. <laughs> you can't be doing that. Yeah, meteor explosion. DBS Gogeta Comet Strike. Take care after raising it to raid quest suddenly towards it's like shooting yourself. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so the animation of this, this is Comet Strike. I thought this was going to be part of his uh, meteor explosion where he charges up, but no, that's the first initial thing before he does meteor explosion. They made that its own super skill, which I think is really awesome. So uh, basically, he's going to charge up, do the pose, dash, and just absolutely just fuck your opponent up, bro gonna be sick it's gonna be kind of like uh kefla's gigantic blast thing or whatever where she she charges up the little the little uh red ball or red whatever that is that she does and she dashes towards him yeah it's probably gonna be something like that um secondary legendary dlc pack this fall scheduled to be delivered the ultimate fighting pack so we already know um the official name it's, I mean, this is a really bad translation. Ultimate Battle Pack. Okay, Ultimate Battle. Just keep that in mind. Uh, you can transform into a Super Saiyan during the battle, and you can quickly get a job. Let's go! We can get a job from this, dude? Finally, dude. I can finally get out of this minimum wage. All right. But no, <laughs> in all seriousness, um, NBO attack is a characteristic. It, this is really bad translations. That big skill made in the movie is also activated. Okay, uh, I think they're talking about Meteor Explosion. I think that's what they're referring to, but... Special move, Punisher Drive slash Awakening Technique Super Saiyan. So this is what I mean by that. Um, it does say Punisher Drive. I did some other translations earlier, and I think it even called it Vanisher Drive. I think it's just Punisher Drive, and I think, okay, and I'm not confirming this, it's just odd that they would just specifically put punisher drive in something that they're showing all the new stuff with like they could have easily just put oh he's gonna have spirit blaster and fucking god punisher as his other skill or whatever which i'm assuming that's what he's going to have as well but uh punisher drive might be getting a full power jiren power rush revamp sort of thing where it adds a different animation or has a little bit of a different animation that could potentially happen <clears throat> So when the blown pressure hits an enemy, you can transform from 10 states to a Super Saiyan. Move behind the enemy while chasing at the speed. Rush with super power-ups. So, um, yeah, to me, it sounds like it's going to be have the same functionality as Punisher Drive. Uh, where, you know, you vanish, go behind the opponent and everything. Just the animation kind of looks different. But, I mean, obviously it's not animation. It's a picture. But the picture, it just looks different to me. Okay, and I, I could be 100% wrong on that. But... Uh, yeah, raid quest, highest difficulty, we know, Gogeta, full power Jiren, um, what does that say? For a super powerful raid boss, you will win. Let's go, okay, um, let me see, anything else? Yeah, Bergamo's closed, get it, get it! Yeah, that's it, alright. <laughs> that's all you need to know, okay, really nothing too different, just that Punisher Drive thing, just keep an eye out for that, uh, I'll be sure to update whenever, or if anything, goes live. So, let's go ahead and get into Kakarot, Kakarot! All right, so Kakarot, we already know. Fusion, we got some new screenshots here. I mean, not really new. I mean, I don't know if these are in-game. I'm assuming that they are. But uh, the official artwork and everything, we know you're going to be able to fuse into them. Uh, I guess, okay, I guess he starts off in base form whenever, you fu whenever they fuse and they do, like, their little animation or whatever. But I think he immediately transforms into Super Saiyan right afterwards. So I don't think there's going to be a base Gogeta... Uh, you know that you can play as and transform I could be wrong same thing with go tanks I don't know if he's gonna be already in Super Saiyan 3 or if he's gonna be in Super Saiyan or even base We'll have to see whenever that actually releases but yes, they will be getting their new fusion uh, skills and abilities and and uh, You obtain it through these quests or whatever as you can see it's Super Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 go tanks I'm assuming that it's just gonna be like that and again, I could definitely be wrong on this, but We'll have to see. We'll definitely have to see. So, uh, I think this is confirming that it's in, like, one of the missions of, like, Part 8, 
sub quest for quest for i don't know dude something like that but yeah i mean they look great i'm excited for this update it's going to be on switch first whenever it actually drops and then it'll eventually come to console slash pc after i don't know when after people need to stop asking me i don't i don't have any intel on when it's going to come but they did confirm that it will eventually be coming to these uh to the other consoles later on but this is a promotional type of deal where they're trying to sell the switch version and give you a reason why would i like why would i buy this game for the like fourth time or whatever like why why am i gonna buy it on switch it's lower graphics lower resolution lower frame rate all that shit um obviously you have the portable factor but they're throwing it they do this with all they've done this with all the other games jump force fighters xenoverse 2 so they, they they they're trying to sell this which makes sense and fuck i'm gonna buy it <laughs> i was gonna buy it even if they didn't have this so yeah that's really great let's go and get into the translations of it real quick so i'm gonna have to skip on over so yes uh two united warriors finally playable nintendo switch pre-implementation clear the new sub story with patara fusion let's learn if the conditions are met a combined battle during the battle it will be possible to transform into a fighter so i guess there are special conditions that need to be met in order to do this so pre-implemented 12 pieces on i don't know what the fuck that is combined warriors are now playable let's go a thousand story chibi warriors doing their best order conditions majin buu episode 8 part 4 so they're showing you guys uh i guess what you have to do in order you have to clear that so after clearing the sub story super strong guy reappears um to get along with Trunks, a person who trains two fathers, also roll, blah, 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 go to him. Okay, whatever. We already know. Double to support and Trunks when organizing both support. Oh, here it is. Support special move. Use fusion. So this is specifically a new skill titled fusion. And then we have one for Goku and Vegeta that's titled Patara. So you have the Patara and then you have the fusion. So these are two different skills, obviously, for good reason. Because one of them uses earrings and one of them uses the dance. Um thousand story old kai and vegeta husband what the fuck does that mean bro vegeta's getting married to the old kai order conditions majin buu episode 8 part 4 so it's the same exact thing after clearing the sub story promise uh i guess okay so this one it's like you're i think w what it was confirmed is you help uh trunks and goten like train or some shit like that i think it's mainly trunks you help like trunks train and then for this one right here it's you have to get like the old magazine for the dirty old man or some shit i don't know whatever uh goku and vegeta the other character for support when organizing yeah, yeah so yeah you get the idea i don't need to get into that too much we already know what it's going to be i just wanted to show uh these new screenshots or whatever and if i go over here uh the official website not website the official twitter posted two sub stories that will be pre-implemented which we already know kakarot new awakening set will be released in v jump which is i'm pretty sure what we just had um so you check the details of the magazine which i just showed but here is a uh an actual screenshot of it or whatever which i think i think this is actually just from the cutscene whenever they fuse i think actually no, no no it's not because vegeta is wearing his armor and not um the majin buu saga outfit okay yeah so no this is this is new this is actually new my bad <laughs> i had to I, I just noticed that so yeah very excited for this let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below dragon ball z kakarot getting uh new update thingy majigger and the switch version next month okay next month and then we have legendary pack 2 we don't know when that's coming out until then like subscribe ring my notification bell and i'll present more news coming your way peace <laughs> this is broly and you are watching slow plays Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>